14th, the final chapter. And good news, it is the final chapter, and I am done with these reviews. This is the last review I have to do for the Friday 13th franchise. <laughs> no, it's not. Unfortunately for Paramount Pictures, when they decided this to be Friday 13th, the final chapter, they actually pro you know decided that they were going to have a five, six, seven, and eight, a nine, a ten, and a remake. So it's not the final chapter. However, the way the movie goes, it could be a final chapter. If that was the last Friday Thirteenth movie they made, I think that that would have been a well good way to end it. I mean, plenty of killings, you know, death and everything. More than one person survives this time around. And, you know, the special effects and, and you know, all the uh, makeup and everything actually looks pretty good at this point. It doesn't look aged like the first three films. Now, even though it's called the final chapter, technically it's Friday the 13th Part 4. But, you know, they decided to call it the final chapter because they honestly, I guess, they were going to end the franchise, you know. After that, they just decided not to after apparently the 4 did so well. And that is one thing, too. 4... The final chapter is really good. I, I really like it. I like, you know, I liked, you know, Crispin Glover's little cameo, you know, Mr. McFly from Back to the Future and everything. He played a good part. He ends up getting a machete to the face and corkscrew in the hand, but he did get laid first. And also, too, what this movie does is it gives you all the cliches that the other Friday 13ths have for it being the final chapter. At the beginning, they show you what happened at the events of the end of 3, the events of the end of one and the events at the end of two, with Paul from two at the campfire re explaining the story of Jason Voorhees and everything. You know, you know, and honestly, I kind of get tired of the whole previously on Friday the 13th, just get on with the movie and everything. You know, the movie starts off, Jason ends up going to the hospital, and he already kills two people right off the bat. And then, like, ten more minutes into the movie, he kills someone else. He kills a lot of people in this movie. And there are breaks in the film where there's no killing, but it's not like, oh my god, kill somebody. You're like, you know, it's got a fair amount of killing, a fair amount of deaths. Jason looks like this is his final bang. You know, he's going all out, and that's what he does. He goes all out, and it's amazing. It's really good. I mean, I, I like it better than three. I really do. You know... Corey Feltman's character was really cool. You know, I like how in the end he tricks Jason into making himself look like a younger Jason to try to confuse Jason to save his sister. And the fact that Trish, his sister, is trying to do anything to keep her brother alive. She even, you know, leads Jason out of the house, but, you know, Tommy decides to stay. Everything. And by the end of the movie, after everything that Jason takes... You know, he honestly could be dead. You know, half his face was cut into, um, and he was slammed multiple times with his own machete to where he could be dead. You know, it calls it the final chapter, and it, it could be, it didn't turn out to be the final chapter, but I believe if it was, that would have been a perfect way to end the series and everything, you know. Plenty of deaths, you know, honestly, my favorite death is... Well, two of them. There's one where this girl tries to go skinny dipping and get this guy to go out with her. She's sitting in a raft in the water. Jason comes out, starts stabbing her from underneath the water with uh, it looks like a rifle butt. And the way she dies, you know, it looks really funny and her tongue sticking out and everything. You know, to me it reminded me of Miley Cyrus getting freaking stabbed. And the other one is Crispin Glover's death, unfortunately. You know, he's sitting there and he's asking where the corkscrew is from his buddy. Where's the corkscrew? Where's the corkscrew? Where's the corkscrew? And then he gets the corkscrew stabbed right into his freaking hand and the machete right into his fucking face. And he's dead. He's gone. You know, and his buddy, honestly, ever since the beginning of the movie, I was hoping he would die. He keeps looking at his friend and calling him a dead fuck and... You're a dead fuck, you're a dead fuck, you're a dead fuck, like an asshole. He has a little computer he uses that, you know, apparently tells him his, his friend's a dead fuck. And like I said, it's got all the classic cliches, you know. You got people skinny dipping. You got people having sex. Uh, more people actually have sex, you know. And then they, of course, die. And, you know, Jason is actually very, uses a lot of variety in this one, you know. 
uh, hacksaw and twists a guy's neck, um, guts a woman with just an itty bitty little knife, another knife to stab a woman in the neck, a knife to stab a guy in the head, grabs a guy through the shower, breaks his head that way, rips him through it, tosses, grabs a girl from outside the window and throws her out, she lands on top of a car and ends up dying. You know, there's a lot of variety of ways. The only thing I didn't like is there's this guy who one of his sisters was killed by Jason, so that's why he's out there is to find Jason. He gets killed by a little fucking, you know, fork thing that you use the garden with. You know, granted, he gets slashed a couple times, and when he gets thrown through the window, it's sticking out of his head. Great revenge that guy got. He didn't even get to try to stop his sister's killer. Jason just took him out like it didn't matter. And again, you know, it's a Friday 13th movie. You really, really, really don't care the background stories or that Crispin Glover's character at the beginning broke up with a really hot girl and he doesn't understand why because he was good to her. You're just at the point where, okay, Jason's back and he's going to kill people. He's, you know, he's just all out killing people and everything. And, you know, that's that's what I like about it. I, I honestly, yes, I do like it better than th 3. It... It was very entertaining to watch, you know, a lot of funny moments to it. Chris and Glovin's freaking dancing scene, you know, is just hol hilarious. And actually, too, the reason why he dances like that, and they kept that in the movie, is Chris and Glovin was actually dancing to Paint It, not Paint It Black, but Something Black by another band. And that's what he was dancing to. He already had the dance done. But when they decided to do, they did the scene with him dancing to that song, but then when they redid, you know, edited the scene, they put the other song in. So that's why it looks hilarious as fuck, and, you know, I love it. I love how that was kept. And you do see a lot more of Jason this time. He, you, you actually get to see him be very physical, you know, especially when he's physical enough to shove a rifle butt up a guy's ass and end up breaking the rifle. You know... Which, uh, oh my god, that that was cringy to me, you know. <laughs> that was just... Oh, god. And the girl from the third one apparently did not die. She was taken away to a hospital and everything, but they never showed her getting killed or anything, you know. So, so far, that's four people who have not been killed by Jason and everything. Which is actually pretty good, because in the Nightmare on Elm Street series... Only Alice is the one who's technically fully survived, you know. Everyone else just ends up making it past him once, but then dying again. But, you know, my final verdict for Friday the 13th, the final chapter, is a 9.7 out of 10. It is, with the other first two, a more phenomenal film. It is way better than the third one you know the third one was good but all in all it was you know not as great as the first two but the fourth one was really really well done good acting you know if it was supposed to be the final movie it could have been the final movie but i you know they four must have been so well received that they decided to do more or they purposely called it the final chapter to see if they could get more people to see it just so that they could take and you know make more of them they make it all the way up to you know jason x but yeah definitely 9.7 out of 10 you know really 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 great movie i wish i could have seen it in the theaters but i was very very young at the time i don't even know if i was born yet you know maybe sometime you know they should bring it back to the theaters leave me a comment down below what did you think of the final chapter for 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 um you know friday the 13th jason's killing spree and like and share this video give it to your other friends uh if you look down below there'll be a link to the previous friday the 13th movie reviews if you haven't seen those yet go check them out Thanks for watching and have a more phenomenal day.